Hey everybody, so this is going to be a review and demonstration of the Unique Moonstruck 3D Fiber Lash Mascara Set. I have been eyeing this mascara kind of system for a while now. I've seen a lot of really cool before and after of people's lashes. Basically it's a, a mascara that um, has two parts and it also, the second part helps build onto the lashes you currently have. I've tried products like these before and they haven't worked out that well, but I've seen such amazing befores and afters of this particular product that I've actually had it on my wish list for a while now. And luckily enough, I was actually contacted by a very sweet na lady named Jackie, and she offered to send me a set to try out and review, and I was like, ah, that's awesome, because I was actually had this on my list to check out. So she sent it to me, came in a really cute case like this, both parts are in it like that. And then it's a two-step system. The first is the Unique Moonstruck Transplanting Gel. And I'm gonna show you myself applying this so you'll get an idea of how it works. So that's the gel. And then there's the Moonstruck Natural Fibers that look like that. And if you've watched my recent um, Get Ready With Me video, you'll actually have seen me use this. And I have been using it in a number of videos here recently. I don't have the best lashes naturally um, and I don't always like wearing false eyelashes although I will if it's a special occasion this is just kind of cool everyday step that I can do I'm wearing it right now so I'll zoom in real quick although I haven't filmed myself applying it so I'm wearing it right now I will show you the before and after of my lashes but that's quite a dramatic difference for me for sure so I guess I'll just show myself applying it and then I'll talk a little bit more about what I personally think about it all right, so I started off by applying one coat of mascara. Currently, I'm using the Lancome Grandiose Mascara, and I made sure just to apply one coat and then let it fully dry. So it's dried now, and I'm going to start off with the Unique Moonstruck Transplanting Gel. That's what it looks like there. And this is kind of like a mascara, but doesn't really add any volume or length or anything. It's just to coat your lashes. So I'll show you myself applying this. I'm just going to do one eye at a time so that it remains wet. As you can see, I make sure to get um, the underside and the back of the lashes as well. Just trying to thoroughly coat each lash. All right, now that I feel that they are thoroughly coated, I'm going to pick up the natural fibers wand really quickly without waiting. And I'm going to start down at the root and drag to the tip. Right from the outside of my lashes to the inside of my lashes. I'm making sure not to do a zigzag motion because I don't want the fibers to go in that direction more than they already tend to do. So I'm just dragging straight up, bottom to top, and you'll notice my lashes extending and volumizing as well. It may look a little bit furry at this point, but the um, transplanting gel that I'm about to put over top really helped with that. I always make sure to get the back of the lashes too, because I put some gel back there. Alright, so that's what it looks like with the fibers on. I'll show you the difference between the first eye and the second eye, quite dramatic. I'm going back to the transplanting gel, and this is to seal it in. Just lock and seal it in. Don't worry about it knocking off some of the fibers. I don't find it usually does. I feel this, like this gel just kind of tames everything down and makes it look a lot less fuzzy um, and more like lashes. So I really make sure to coat the, again, the front and the back of each and every lash, right from the root to the tip. All right, and there's the finished eye. Quite a big difference from my first eye there. Um, you can go back in now with the fibers and build on some more and then put some more gel on top. But for me, this is just as much as I'm looking for. I'm not looking for any more length or volume than that. I've tried doing two before, two coats, and I just feel like it gets a little bit out of control for my liking. So I am comfortable with just the one coat. Um, 
yeah and i think it looks really nice all right as you can tell from that demonstration it worked really well on my lashes i actually picked up on it really quickly i heard some people it took a little bit of getting used to just getting the fibers on there properly but for me first time was a charm um, it worked awesome for me the only time i had trouble was when i tried to do a second coat like i said just got a little bit too too much too fuzzy too like spidery too hard to tame and control so i've just learned from my own personal eyelashes one coat is definitely good the transplanting gel is definitely the key in my opinion you really need to make sure you're coating all your lashes before you apply the fibers and that you finish off by locking in those fibers because if you don't lock them in they're going to fall off and they're going to look a little bit extra fuzzy so the, the gel is definitely the key as far as removal of this mascara i was actually pleasantly surprised i thought it would be a pain in the butt but i just use my makeup wipe or wash my face just like i would normally do at the end of the night and it comes right off just like mascara it just you can't even tell that they're there. It's just like you, I don't know, put on a little bit extra mascara. So it comes off really, really easily. Not even like waterproof mascara, just like regular mascara. Jackie did want me to pass along one tip in case you guys try this out and have problems with the fibers kind of falling off your lashes. I haven't had that problem, but she said sometimes new ones can, can kind of do that to you. And she said if you just take the fiber wand and roll it between your finger and thumb like this, just roll it down, I guess pat down the fibers a little bit on your new wand before using it, that should help that problem. Yeah, as you can see, I am loving this product. I am so glad I got a chance to try it out and I definitely recommend that you guys try it out as well if you have um, not the greatest natural lashes but you're not a huge fan of the uh, false eyelashes. The only downfall to this, in my opinion, the only con is that you have to make sure the first coat of your regular mascara fully dries before applying this um, system on top. So you have to have a little bit extra time. It's definitely not something I do every day, but uh, when I wanna look a little extra fancy or I'm filming videos or something like that, then I will take the time to apply it on top. So yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions about this awesome mascara duo, definitely leave any questions down below. And I'm gonna leave Jackie's website for Unique down below in the description bar if you wanna look into ordering it. I believe this retails for $29 dollars for both together so $29 for this um it's just like false eyelashes but you can use it over and over again so i'm loving it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching bye